Hi, I'm Miss Shim, and in this video, we're going to learn this note. It's called a quarter note. That's how you call it. But you know what? I don't want to focus too much on the name. The most important thing you need to know is whenever you see this, this has one beat, like one sound. I'm going to put the beat on. It's called a metronome. You don't have to know what it is. I'll explain later. I'm going to choose 80. That's a beat. I'm going to make it visible so you can see it on the left and the right side, right over here. How about we just start? There are six examples. I'll do number one and two, and you can come in on three. Number one. One, two, ready, go. Number two. One, two, ready, go. Number three, come along. One, two, ready, go. Number four. One, two, ready, go. Number five. One, two, ready, go. Number five. Let's look at the box. Now, do we see any notes? Do we see a circle or a line? No, we don't. We don't see anything. So actually, I tricked you. We shouldn't have clapped. I shouldn't have clapped, you shouldn't have clapped, but it doesn't matter. We're allowed to make mistakes and that's why we're here. There is nothing to clap. Number six. Let's see if you've understood. One, two, ready, go. Okay, you got the drill. So let's do the next one. This is a rest. I'm going to call it thunder because it just really looks like thunder. The actual name is called a quarter rest. But, you know, let's not try and talk about names. You know, today is all about how to clap what you see. And this thunder looking thing has one rest. I'll show you. Number one. One, two, ready, go. Clap, clap, don't clap. Clap, don't clap. Clap. Number two, come with me. One, two, ready, go. Number three. Okay, I want you to stop here. All right, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about why we have two small things over here. Like one is a rest and one is a note. Why are they small? How do we play them? Okay, talk to yourself or the person next to you. The answer is, it's actually still the same. It doesn't matter if it's small or big. We still have one sound and one rest. Now, I do have some students saying, oh, the note is small, so we have to play quietly. Or, oh, the note is big, so we have to play loud. Honestly, that's pretty creative. But anyway, the truth is, it's not. In this case, we still have one sound and one rest. Okay, let's do this line. Number three. One, two, ready, go. We're done learning for today. Here is a quiz. Put the bead on. I'm going to speed it up to 124. Okay, are you ready? Number one. One, two, ready, go. Number two. One, two, ready, go. Number three, one, two, ready, go. Number four, one, two, ready, go. Number five, one, two, ready, go. Last one, number six, one, two, ready, go. And that's it. Well done. I'll see you next time. <laughs>